Hi, Superspheres here, back another Ordinal Markup video, episode 43, and it looks like the game automatically did some stuff since last episode, like it automatically did this 13th completion of Challenge 8, so, and also, I, I did a little bit of stuff, like I got a couple of the incrementy upgrades, I didn't, I cannot get any more manifolds, it looks like it's now increasing at a super exponential rate, like the requirement for this. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a shame. Also, in objectives, apparently my current ordinal level is 152, whatever that means. So, like, I just saw some, like, notifications appearing in the top right about, like, the ordinal level. So, yeah, that's the thing. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to unlock Baseless Milestones. So, okay, is there any? Yeah, uh, I don't see any. Oh, here it is. Baseless Milestones. You can now enter any challenges past the third completion. Reach the required ordinal in challenge four. Why is it challenge four exactly? To receive a reward. Each reward also starts with an extra booster. So this one is um, gain one um, refund point per second. I guess that's pretty good. And then this is, yeah, actually that's really good. That means I don't have to collapse for refund points. Why am I just saying, oh, that's pretty good. No, that's really good. And then this one is, you can ch now change the singularity faster, max, min, slider, and auto buy singularity function upgrades. That, that's pretty cool. Like, that, that makes the, you know, the, like, going up and down with the singularity less grindy. And this was forever keep the first four function upgrades free and unlock advanced auto shift. Refunding is encouraged. Not exactly sure what advanced auto shift is, but the four, first four function upgrades for free... It's really good because that means I get all these for free. So I mean, it doesn't it isn't all that valuable, but it's still pretty nice. Like I don't need to like refund. So again, it's just a quality of life thing. And this last thing is automatically get incrementing and dark manifolds and upgrades without losing incrementy. Um. Oh, so I get the upgrades without losing it. It's below e ten thousand incrementy. Why is it only below e ten thousand? I have no idea. I'm nowhere close e ten. To E10,000, but and then there's also some upgrades here. There's um, manifolds are buffed. You can reach Omega to the Omega times four in Challenge Eight, but in base five only. And all of Nolan Multiplier divides Challenge Eight goals. This this last one is definitely too expensive. The what I can salvage here, I could I can swap this for either of these, and. I have just enough to be able to choose, be able to freely choose between the left and the right one here. So it looks like I can, if I can now challenge, enter challenges past three completions, I should do so. So yeah, I I don't think I should go for E65 increment here. I should just do these, do challenge one. Apparently I can do a past three completions, even though it doesn't, I don't really see anything that I can actually do. So, I mean, it's infinity over, or not infinity over power, infinity ordinal points, which means I just can't do it for some reason. Or maybe I need to be doing something with the baseless milestones. I don't know. Maybe it's just with challenge four. Okay, I'll just I'll go into challenge four. Let's see how far I can reach. So I can reach omega to the omega squared times two plus omega times four. It, it looks like I'm definitely going to be able to reach... Oh, omega to the omega squared times three. Assuming I'm in base five, I think I think I'm in base five here. Like I'm now one one twenty fifth of the way there, and I think with dynamic factor increasing, like you know exponentially, that is definitely going to help things. So it looks like I just have to wait. I'm actually now one twenty fifth of the way there. So it's a time wall, but it's not like a lot of the other time walls where it's just really bad. And the one. Refund point per second is going to be nice. I don't think I'm going, be, I'm going to be able to get this one here, but it's, it's at least a nice little quality of life thing. That means I don't have to collapse for refund points, which is annoying. I mean, like, the having to collapse for refund points is annoying. Like, not not the quality of life thing. Quality of life things are never annoying. But I'm just I'm just going to see when I'm done with this time wall. Also, also, while I'm waiting this out, you can notice it's actually looping the rainbow, which is interesting. You can see it's like the red here, and then it's going to blue, and then more red, and then green, and then blue. So it, that's pretty interesting. It's looping the rainbow, 
and almost twice. Like blue is sort of close to the end. So here it is, finally, Omega to the Omega times three, which means I've, I've gotten the first baseless milestone. So that means I am getting one refund point every second. So I, I think now I can just probably just exit the challenge. It's probably still infinity ordinal points to beat the challenge. So yeah, I'll, I'll, at least, okay, there's that. So it looks like I can now refund freely, which is really nice because I have to try some of these new builds. Like the mana folds are buffs. Like I wonder, like m mana folds are, are essentially they give a multiplier dy dynamic factor output and cap. So if I do this, and and like do it like this, and there's actually another upgrade here. Singularity effect is raised to the 1.4. Not exactly sure really what that means, but maybe with like um the proper singularity level I could try to get a certain amount of factor boost per second. Oh, I, I have the I have the auto procedure off because I was doing that's a grind incrementy. So let's see how, how much I'm actually getting. It, okay, it's, tell, it's telling me here. So 20,000, 22,000. It's not really, it doesn't look like it's really much more than this. So maybe this is not the best build I've ever made. Like even with the like manifolds are so much more effective. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try a different build. A different build here will be like this. So hopefully this will allow me to, what is it, the new thing here, each unspent function increases all of two effect by 40%, but I need 36 challenge completions. This is, you can reach omega to the omega times four in challenge eight, but in base five only. So, okay, that means I better go into challenge eight. Challenge eight and go into base five. Hopefully it won't automatically factor shift. I'm not sure if it automatically does. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to auto procedures to disable this just because. And it doesn't look like I'm really gonna be able to get, yeah, I can only get up to E26 ordinal points. And I don't really think like if the second upgrade here, it may be okay. It may be a little better than the third, but I'm, I'm really not sure. I, I think that, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't think this is really doing much. I'm not exactly sure what I should do at this point. Like, I, I have this nice quality of life thing, but I don't think it's really doing much. I can buy max singularity functions now, but not really much else I can do. Or maybe it's just because my singularity level is too high. Maybe if I lower it, that, like, not only just helps decrementy, but also helps this. It does help a tiny bit, but not any significant amount so also i don't know why it's not it's not it's not even increasing the factors like i better I better do that that does help but it doesn't look like it's, i'm going to be able to get any more than e28 so yeah that's that's unfortunate i'm not exactly sure what else i can do i feel like i should just i feel like the best idea at this point is to just try to grind factor boosts like actually, if I go to all of power, I can distribute all cardinals, and I can, I should be able to give me something. But I'm not exactly sure what to do from here to get more singularity levels. I don't know. I'm just gonna use the regular build like this, and hopefully that should just give me like a good amount of factor boost per second with the proper singularity level here. Yeah, I can get over 30,000 factor boosts a second. It's not really all that much more, but it's something. Maybe I should try to upgrade the singularity a little bit more. Maybe I feel like something like 37 may be the sweet spot here. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back like a day or so later, and actually I decided to grind some incrementy after getting 6 billion factor boosts. So, yeah, that's that's a little bit crazy. But anyway, I can actually raise the base incrementing multiplier to the 1.05 power, allowing me to get one more manifold, which means one more singularity level. So, yay, one more singularity level. That doesn't really do much, but it does something, so I guess I can... I, I guess that's something. I, I Actually, no, it maybe can do something, because look at this. Third row of incrementy applies to decrementy. I can actually do that, which I, I feel like that's an accomplishment. Maybe, like this, if I go into challenge 8, maybe I can do some, um, 
some interesting stuff. Uh, no, I don't think it looks, it doesn't look, well actually, I'm at max singularity. If I just go down to minimum singularity, maybe that will do something. Um, doesn't, I'm not really sure that this doesn't look very promising. I need E4, E20 decrement I'm getting E1, E16. Actually, uh, no, that's, that, that will get me to about E21 or E, E21 decrement which like probably is not enough. Like I, I can, I can actually, luckily I can test it with, with the, with this, but I don't think, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if it would give me this single dark manifold. And this is after a full day of waiting. So yeah, that's, I, I don't think it really do much. I, I guess I'm just gonna do these and there's really not much else I can do. It may, maybe, I, it, I feel like if I do get it, I'll cut it extremely close. And all it'll do is give me one more singularity level. Maybe the one singularity level will be worth it because I need everything I can get. And also if it doesn't take one day, it'll take two. And it probably took, I mean, Maybe I could try to get another one of these, but no, I don't, I'm not going to be able to get um, another manifold until something big happens. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back one day later, and I have E1.17 E21 decrementy. And I actually can get a bunch of upgrades. I can actually double decrementy growth here, so that's, that will definitely help... And then I can also get a gain of 1.2 times multiplied to tier 1 and 2 and pr reduce the potency of decrementy by 5%. Now, let's see. Uh, no, it's not quite enough to get enough dark manifolds. I, I know I needed like 4 E21 dark manifolds to actually get to um, the next singularity level. So it looks like I have to wait even more. At, le at least I got one of these upgrades. So, yeah, seen a bit...